You're paid to play basketball for 82 games. Yeah. And, and, and you're in your 20s and 30s. What do you mean you need time off? You yeah. tired. From what? Yeah. All you're doing is bowling. Great. And if you have, have your butt, I'm, I was going to use the A word, yeah. but get your butt in shape. Fatigue won't be a problem. Right. Known for his mid-range jumper and defensive dominance, Parrish won four NBA championships and remains the all-time leader in games played. He is the legend, Robert Parrish, in the building. Oh, oh. stop. Oh, stop. Are we getting you teary-eyed already? No, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm getting... Emotional, we're having a moment. <laughs> we love a moment. We love How you doing? I'm good. How in Montreal. Yourself? Yes. Are you still playing ball on the off time? No, sir. No. No, sir. You did it too long. Oh, yeah. Not to mention my body might misbehave the next day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's treating me pretty good. I'm going to keep it like that. You know what's so crazy? I heard from a little birdie mm -hmm. that before you went into basketball, you mm -hmm. didn't really mm -hmm. like playing it. Never played it. So how did you get into it? My junior high school coach, mm -hmm. you know, he just relentless in terms of pursuing me. Yeah. You know, he, he kept telling every time I saw him, you know, you are that tall for a reason. I'm like, yeah, but whatever that reason is, I don't see what you are seeing. <laughs> <laughs> but you kept at it though. Yeah, uh, my, my parents, once my parents found out that I had given the coach my word, yeah. that I would try out for the team, because I only yeah. went to two practices. Yeah. And then uh, it was just a disaster. Yeah. And so I was like, this is not for me. So once my parents found out that I had said I would do it, yeah. they said, once you give your word, you can't walk that mm. back. Mm. You know, don't start something and don't finish it. Mm. So that's how my career, you know, uh, got started. That's the genesis of it. And it led to something that was transformational. Who knew? Jeez. Who knew? Naismith turned over in his grave. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I, I couldn't hold it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't kiss the ball. I couldn't dribble. Mm -hmm. I couldn't shoot. I was just a tall, skinny person. That's it. But you still have the determination, though. Well, I got it now, but <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of doubt when I first started. I cannot lie about How that. How did you get over that, though? Oh, just, just, uh, I have to, uh, I, I adopted this philosophy. Mm -hmm. Confidence comes from competing at a high level mm -hmm. in a competitive environment. And so, uh, I'll never forget, uh, I think it was like the fifth or the sixth game of the season. Yeah. Uh, someone threw me a pass for mm -hmm. whatever reason. I was wide open Yeah. and I caught it. And I couldn't believe that I caught it. You were so excited? <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't excited, I was stunned. <laughs> and so, that, that was like the, the starting point for me, my number in junior high school was double zero. Right. And so my nickname was double nothing. Uh-oh. Because I, could, I nothing, couldn't double play. Nothing. I couldn't play, so that was the nickname <laughs> for me, double, double nothing. And so when I, the first time I caught that pass, yeah. and, the, and the fans stood up and applauded mm -hmm. that I actually showed a little promise, yeah. that's when my confidence started to be. And then I made a layup yeah. at the end of the game. So everything just started to fall into place. You know, all that work and, and determination. And then, I was, then the light bulb went off. Oh, I see what my coach is talking about now. Mm -hmm. Maybe he do see something. Right? Yeah, this could be uh, something. Could turn out to be something. It, it did turn out to be something. Well, I didn't see all that coming, but uh, I had some serious, serious doubts. So, yeah. Yeah, so that confidence just grew and grew and grew and grew. I appreciate you sharing that because there's a lot of young people who also feel that mm. in their own careers or oh, whatever. Yeah, what, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What yeah. advice would you say to those people who are feeling that exact thing that you felt when you were younger? Well, everybody has a talent, first mm. of all. And I, I always tell young people, you got to have unshakable confidence mm. in yourself and in your ability because it's not going to go well. Mm. Matter of fact, it may be years before you are rewarded you know, with something positive. In the NBA, you played, what, more than 1,600 games? Yes. Jeez. And if you had a so high started out, you'd be like, no way. <laughs> That's not happening. That's no way. Amazing. Yes, it is. Turns out to be amazing. Yeah. Yes, it is. Talking about some of the highs from your career in the NBA, do you have one particular moment that sticks with you? I would have to say 
with, with all my accomplishments, I have to say being drafted. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I really didn't. Mm. I still didn't think that I would have a professional career. I didn't think like that. I never looked at myself as, as a Hall of Famer. I knew I was a, you know, a good player. I knew yeah. I was tearing it up. But in terms of a, a Hall of Famer, no. That's going to be no. really surprising for a lot of people to hear because mm -hmm. watching you, right? Yeah. You, ha you were doing it. Oh, I know You had it. I, I you had the swagger. Oh, Nobody had, could touch you. Oh, I had plenty of that, that yeah. swagger. <laughs> I was not lacking confidence. I'm not saying that. But in, in, in terms of uh, considering myself a Hall of Famer, you know, I never considered myself uh, to be a Hall of Famer. Yeah. I never looked at my career like that. You know, because I achieved my objective. I wanted to win a championship and I wanted to be an all-star. Yeah. So once I achieved those two objectives, I was good. Mm. I never looked any further mm. than that. But then it happened. Oh yeah, I was like, excuse my language. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I got the call, when I got the call from the Hall of Fame that I was nominated yeah. to be in the Hall of Fame, and when I hung up, I'm like, damn, how about that? That's a moment yeah. for life. I like pause. Mm. I'm like, really? Okay. And then uh, I didn't see uh, uh, being a member of, of the 75 uh, anniversary team either. And that was major. Yeah, it was. It was. That's because, historic. Uh, what, what they were trying to do initially, yeah. they were trying to incorporate some of the guys that didn't make the top 50 originally. Yeah trying to put them on. So they were trying yeah. to see who could they knock off. Right. Who could they replace. <laughs> so I said, well, I know I'm probably going to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to be replaced. Because <laughs> somebody got to go. <laughs> yeah. Somebody got to move to the side. Yeah. <laughs> so it turns out uh, they didn't kick me to the curb. No. Yes. Because that's, that's your legacy that's there, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's so pronounced. And it still resonates till today. And I hope that's something that you also continue to remember is like you have left a lasting legacy on the game. Be because of, of the Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. uh, Nod, and, and, and being a member of the 75 uh, anniversary team, mm -hmm. yeah, I think my legacy is, is set yeah. in terms of people won't forget about me because mm -hmm. uh, the Hall of Fame mm -hmm. is, is, I think, it's a, it's a mirror. Uh, uh, and to reflect back yeah. on everyone's career that made it. And so I think that way my career would never die. Yeah. Kind of like a musician. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got that killer hit. It's always going to live it's on. It's always going gonna to live on. Yeah. You know. Who's your favorite magician, by the way? Oh, man, I'm all over the place. Because yeah. <laughs> I listen to a lot of different music. Uh, I like... Mm -hmm. uh, Bond B and Pimp C, okay. uh, U, U, UGK, Underground King, yeah, UGK. All right. Uh, it's like Snoop. Okay. Pop, yep. Biggie. All right. Uh, uh, T.I. Thank you. T.I. Thank you, sir. <laughs> T.I. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. No question. <laughs> and then I, I listen to a lot of jazz. Yeah. I listen to uh, hip hop. Yeah. Jazz, R&B, mm -hmm. and, and uh, reggae. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So my background is Jamaican, so. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Buddha. Buddha Bantam. There you go. Oh, yeah. Have you working it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. This yeah. Legend, people. Legend. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be very transparent. You know, we're right. from Toronto. We're from Canada. We are supporting the Raptors. What do you make of the team? I, I like the, the young talent. Yeah. I think they are. Uh, up and coming. Yeah. Um, I think the, the, the coaches coaching is solid. Yeah. And uh, what I like about the, the, the team, current Raptor team, mm -hmm. they play hard, they play smart, yeah. they play together. And so that's what any coach mm -hmm. asks for, and that's all he can ask for. Yeah. He, what should I say? He or she can ask for. Yeah. We, we, got some, we got some female coaches yes. too. So uh, I, I, I like the way they play every night, and they don't take nights off. Like some of these young fellas do, mm -hmm. you know. What what's up with this? Uh, what do you call this when, when they take time off? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're not about that. No, I'm, I'm, I don't believe in it. Yeah. Cause you you're paid to play basketball for 82 games. Yeah. And and, and 
you in your 20s and 30s. What do you mean you need time off? You yeah. tired. From what? Yeah. All you doing is bowling? Great. And if you have, have your butt, I'm, I'm going to use the E word, but <laughs> get your butt in shape. Fatigue won't be a problem. Right. Yeah. I hear you. You know, I can't help but look at Amelia Brand Trophy right now. Hey, how about that? I've never touched it. Okay. You have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have. Describe to me the first moment when that happened. What was that? What was that like for you? A relief. Oh. Yes. A relief. And also, it, it was uh, a sign of uh, I have arrived. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pat myself on the back yeah. because it, it's so hard to, to win a championship. Mm -hmm. A lot of things got to go right for the team mm -hmm. just to get to the, the finals. Mm -hmm. Forget about winning the finals. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you need talent, obviously, yeah. coaching, you need health. And you need that special player that has the respect of the officials. Right. They're going to get that call, mm -hmm. you know, that questionable call, mm -hmm. that phantom call, I like, yeah. I like to call it. <laughs> yes, you got to have all those ingredients. And maybe the fans too. Yeah, the fans yeah. too. And you still may not win it, right. even with all that in place. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things got to go, got to go into winning the championship. And that's why I had such admiration for your Raptors. Oh, speak that's up. one of the reasons, because I knew what went into yeah. them winning it. And that, that's why I was I was happy and proud for them. Because it's a mother trying to win it. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much talent you got. Yeah. It's still a mother trying to win it. But if you don't, you come up short, you're like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't have to worry about that. Well, not too many times. <laughs> Robert Pierce, thank you so much for your thank time. You thank you for, for having me. gracing us with your presence. And thank you for making it easy and comfortable. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you, man. Hey, BG Squad. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. And listen to this. We have more great content for you, like this video right here and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.